10 Spider-Man covers that pay homage to classic comic covers. Jack Kirby didn't often draw Peter Parker, but he drew the first image the public ever saw of him on that original 1962 cover of The Amazing Fantasy No. 15, and Ron Friends composed the cover debut of the black symbiote Spider-Man suit. This was the perfect cover to emulate. Writer Dan Slott created a new hero named Alpha to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Spider-Man's creation. Humberto Ramos homaged a classic team-up cover as the two colorful characters swooped around each other in a familiar pattern. In retrospect, it's a shock that only this one 2003 cover between the Superior Spider-Man and Superior Spider-Man team-up recalls a cover from the original Spider-Man's long tenure. Mark Bagley had only recently become the regular penciler of The Amazing Spider-Man in 1992. Bagley found inspiration in an unlikely source for Spider-Man number 25 as he recaptured a distinct silhouette published on a cover more than a decade previous. One of the few times that the main cover of an Ultimate Marvel comic directly homaged a cover from the mainline Marvel Universe is Linnell Francis Yu's cover for Ultimate Avengers vs. New Ultimate No. 3. In an extremely rare case, this cover is a direct homage to the cover of a comic book from the same series published just one exact calendar year earlier. Even more rare, it's drawn by the same artist as Todd McFarlane paid homage to his own start on the series. That issue was the best-selling Spider-Man No. 1, a comic that impacted most readers of a certain generation. The Amazing Spider-Man No. 8 was just one of a long parade of comics for which Steve Ditko designed covers, making the choice to remake this 1963 cover even more charming in 1987. Ron Friends was almost certainly subtly homaging the cover of 1962 Tales of Suspense No. 39. That cover by Jack Kirby is increasingly iconic because it entices any reader to open the comic book and read the first Iron Man story with the words, He lives, he walks, he conquered, which Spider-Man efficiently replicated. In Cody Ziegler's run on Miles Morales, Spider-Man, which launched in late 2022, the young Spider-Man was put through the ringer again. The cover for issue number 8 used the same pose and composition of a classic Peter Parker cover and just placed Miles' costume in it. During the tenure of fan-favorite comic book artist Todd McFarlane on The Amazing Spider-Man, he increasingly played with Spider-Man's design and toyed with dynamic compositions on covers. The cover issue of number 306 playfully mocked one of the few superhero characters rivaling Spider-Man's popularity.